Hi, welcome to Economy and Markets TV, where we have conversations with a purpose. I'm your host, Dave Oakenquist, Senior Research Analyst here at Dent. Joining me, of course, as you can see on your screen, is Mr. Harry Dent. Harry, how are you today? Oh, good to be here, Dave. Great. Good to touch base with you. And uh, there's a story that kind of been passed around in our group, a survey of uh, 2,500 millionaires uh, showing their financial net worth since uh, this, uh, looking at a chart here from 2011 to 2018. For the first time in that span, 2018 fell. The net worth in total fell by about $2 trillion, around 3%. Hardest hit, Harry, was in China, uh, Asia broadly, uh, the UK as well. So the question is, what did you make of this? Well, you know, uh, we've been telling this uh, for years now that when this great reset in financial assets, who owns the financial assets? Rich people, um, disproportionately. So, so this is going to continue to affect these people. Two trillion dollars? Oh, out of sixty-eight trillion, there's three hundred trillion dollars in financial assets around the world. And these are largely owned by rich or richer people. So they're going to see 30, 40, 50%, 60% even in their net worth uh, affected. So they're going to see this, they're going to feel this more than anybody else. And that's a lot of the wealth that's going to be disappeared. So are rich people sort of the canary in the coal mine when things go wrong? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, in good times, no. Everyday people get, you know, this, this amount of wages or not. But when it comes to a reset in financial assets, it's the rich people that own these assets that get hit the most. That, that, that's what I'm saying. People are not going to have any idea what happens when three hundred trillion dollars, not sixty eight trillion, gets devalued. That's going to hurt. Now, for those of us who aren't high net worth individuals that maybe would have made it into this survey, what what can what should those people take out of seeing this news and maybe what maybe looking ahead to twenty nineteen? Well, well, we're all above average net worth uh, in our group and our subscribers. So, we have to protect our assets, our financial net worth against this great reset, which again, only comes from our research every 90 years. That, that's longer than we think, but that is coming. So this is gonna be like 1930 to 32 in the financial markets. So you have to protect yourself and be in our type of investment services at Dent Research where you can make money on the up and downside. We, we, we are not in buy and hold since 2000. That's the new uh, strategy. So I'm looking at this chart again. In 2011, uh, we were at four, or excuse me, this group was at 42 trillion. Could you see us falling to back down to that, that sort of level in terms of high net worth oh, oh, financial oh, assets? No, no, yeah, and, and that or more. I mean, again, uh, I, I remember Ted Turner in uh, 2001 or something like, oh, my God, I lost, you know, 90 <laughs> percent. You know, he went from 10 billion to 1 billion. And people say, Ted, you're still a billionaire. Yeah. No, he lost 90 percent of his net worth. That is what is going to happen to the richest people in the world and they're not going to like it and and people will say oh you're still a billionaire no you lost 90 percent. 90 percent sucks <laughs> yeah that's certainly uh scary stuff and as, as you said of course definitely uh, need to find something to protect your wealth so great on that yeah. uh here we got a viewer question uh from uh, over the last couple of days this one comes from ken and carol the subject is on real estate certainly something that's i'm sure has been on a lot of people's minds seeing this rapid rise in prices over the last few years uh, i'm just going to read from here uh, Harry, we are both in our 70s and don't want to sell our home and downsize yet. What should we do? They had a thought. Maybe should they get a reverse mortgage? So we don't, don't really do personal financial advice here, but just in general for, for a couple in that at that age, they're not really sure if they should sell what they should do. Uh, what do you recommend? Well, you know, my biggest problem, Dave, is people are emotional about real estate and gold. Those are the two investments. I can't 
talk people out of why don't you just sell your real estate <laughs> if you believe in what we're saying but yeah. on the other side i have talked to people like them um where okay you're retired you don't have any um you know gifts to give to your uh, people that are going to survive you right. so why not get a reverse mortgage at a reasonable rate and let the banks take it if your house goes down. But why don't you take it now and get out of the house now? But yes, getting a reverse mortgage could make sense right now. But I still say sell the damn house. What's wrong with selling your house? Uh, right. And certainly with the way prices are now, uh, of course, they have gone up and, you know, you don't know exactly where things are going to go. But the downside risk is certainly high. And this may this may be, depending on the location, of course, maybe a good time to sell. Right. And downsize. Yeah. I mean, I think real estate prices are going to go down more than 2008 to 12, which was 30 percent ish. I think it's going to be 40 to 50 percent. Sell your real estate now if you don't <laughs> need it. I, I, I say Keep your strategic real estate that you live in or do business in. That if you're going to die, sell it. Right. Now, this is also the same message you gave in the early to mid-2000s, right? Yeah. So same idea there. This isn't coming out of 2005, I sold my house yep. in Miami, moved to Tampa, and saved a million dollars. 50% decline and 50% less rent compared to owning. Yeah, made a big difference. And uh, we've heard from a lot of subscribers uh, stories over the years of how they have similar experiences based on that that warning that you gave. So good, uh, something to think about, uh, Ken and Carol. If you've got a question like Ken and Carol about the markets, anything, real estate, maybe we can ask Harry something about gold. Good to hear, hear the, the other side of that take, which we didn't get into. Send those to TV and, and economy and markets.com. And uh, yeah, we're we'll happy to read it on the air and ask Harry. We will be back next week to, and Harry, we're going to see what's going on with the markets and all that. Of course, we've got news from the Fed, which we didn't even get to, but maybe we could talk about that next week. For Harry Dent, I'm Dave Oakenquist, and this has been Economy Markets TV.